Keep your heads lifted up, beautiful family in Jesus Christ. And he's the lifter of our heads. And here's the verse of the day, and it confirms it. And it's Psalms 3.3. 3. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of mine head. And remember, Jesus Christ said to watch. And he said, if you don't watch every hour, you won't know the hour that I will come upon thee. And he said right where the signs would be, in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And all glory to our Father in the name above every name, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. He called me to show you his signs. So I'll walk you through what I'm seeing right now. And real quick, I'll take you back to the great American solar eclipse that was on 4-8. And I'll show you Pons Brooks, which you already know, they called it the Devil Comet. It was right in what they call Aries, the false god of war. And when you go through the days, you could see it's moving very quickly through the constellations, past Orion. And when you get to today's date, you could see that it's right by Centaurus. And when you get to the solar eclipse that's on 10-2, the Feast of Trumpets, you could see that this comet is right there lined up with Zeta Centauri. Well, here's what's gigantinormous. That's 12P. And right above that is what they call Virgo, the woman, where the eclipse happens on 10-2, on the Feast of Trumpets. Well, here's what's gigantinormous. Most of you know that Purim is celebrated on the 14th day of the Hebrew month of Adar. So the 13th would be the Eve of Purim. And here's the flyer that we just had printed. And on the Feast of Trumpets, you could see right next to the eclipse, in the woman is Esther. And right by the woman's head is King. And right below her feet is Fast. It's all perfectly designed by our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. And most of you know that Jesus Christ was crucified on the 14th too of Nisan and was resurrected on the 17th. Well, here's why I'm showing you this, family. This is beyond gigantinormous and it's beautiful. And I love you, Jesus Christ. Thank you for showing us your signs. And as you can see right there on the Feast of Trumpets, on the solar eclipse in the woman is 13P Olbers. And right under that is Comet 14P Wolf. And Comet 15P Finlay is there. Comet 16P Brooks is there. Along with Comet 17P Holmes. So you have five comets there. 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. And as you can see right there, there is no Comet 18. Now I'll take you back to 13P Olbers. And as you can see on the eclipse, it's right by what they call the woman and her right foot. But if you go to today's date right now, you could see that it's not right there. These comments are moving constantly. But again, on the Feast of Trumpets, they're all right there next to the eclipse in what they call the woman Virgo. So I made this picture to show you right where they would be on the eclipse, which is on a new moon. Biblically, one of the appointed times, the new moon and full moons are appointed times, family. And on the Feast of Trumpets, Israel will be at war for 360 days, five days short of a year, because they were attacked on 10-7. And if you didn't know, Strong's Bible Concordance 360 in Hebrew is my help is the definition. And in Greek, it's to unloose for departure. I unloose, unloose for departure, depart, return. 
and all of us watching and waiting, we would like to be changed in a twinkle of an eye and be with Jesus Christ ASAP. But again, the appointed times biblically are on new moons and full moons. And this solar eclipse is on a new moon. When the sun is darkened and the moon shall not give her light. And biblically, the moon turns to blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord comes. And blood moons are full moons. And as you can see right there, September 18th is a blood moon, a partial lunar eclipse. And on October 2nd, this solar eclipse is an annular solar eclipse. And before Israel was attacked and the eclipses happened last October on the 14th and 28th, the sun was darkened first. And the solar eclipses were happening first. And then the blood moons were coming 14 days after. But when Israel got attacked, these eclipses flipped. And now the blood moon happens first. And then the solar eclipse happens when the sun is darkened. Second, 14 days afterwards, a fortnight. And this doesn't flip back until 2026, family. He's at the door. He's coming to get us. Israel's at war. They just annihilated Gaza and now they're wrecking Lebanon. And Jordan and Damascus are next. Biblically, they will be punished. Study Amos chapter 1 and Amos chapter 2. Israel's punished after that. And we know before the last seven years of tribulation happens, the word tells us, that right when that happens, Israel will be trampled for 42 months, the first three and a half years of the last seven years of tribulation. And we know that the rapture is pre-tribulation. And we also know this because Jesus Christ told us that when he's revealed, it will be like the times of Noah. Because Jesus Christ told us in Luke chapter 17, Verse 26, and as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it also be in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise, also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they builded. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. Well, that will not be happening when Israel is trampled for 42 months, which leads to the great tribulation, and they won't be eating and drinking and buying and selling and building and planting and getting married. And the day that he's revealed is the rapture. And we see that day approaching, but we're still here right now. And what's important is what we do until that day happens. So all glory to our Father in the name above every name, Yeshua. Through you, family, and thank you, we were able to print 10,000 flyers, rapture flyers. And on the other side of the rapture flyer are the signs on the Feast of Trumpets, on the eclipse. And these flyers are five inches by seven inches. And Sonia, God bless her heart, she is preparing to ship out all 10,000, 100 per package. So to ship out 100 packages with 100 flyers in each package, it's going to be around $1,000 for shipping. And praise God, we've almost reached 100 requests from you brothers and sisters that are requesting 100 flyers to hand out. Thank you, Jesus Christ, and thank you, family. And right now, I only have a few hundred dollars. So I'm hoping that Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, speaks to you and guides you to donate so we could ship out all hundred packages. And if we have more time and he sends more funds, we're going to print another 10,000, all glory to our Father. So if you're led to donate, my PayPal link is in the description box under the video. Let's keep pushing, family. And before I started the video, I prayed and asked him to show me something to share with you in his word. And he led me straight to 1 Timothy chapter 5, 
For the scripture saith, Thou shalt not muzzle the ox that treadeth out the corn. And the laborer is worthy of his reward. And in my Bible, that's in red words. The laborer is worthy of his reward. And remember, Yeshua, he said, store not your riches up on earth, store them up in heaven. So I could care less what this world has to offer. All glory to our Father. For almost seven years, I've been storing all my riches up in heaven. With you, family. We're in this together. This is your ministry. Let's keep pushing until the day when the Son of Man is revealed.